And so, we looked up and saw the stars. Wondering what secrets their beauty was hiding. We dared to touch the heavens. We desired to walk on their worlds. We dreamed what else was out there. Looking up at us. The Power of Cosmic, brand new season coming soon to Marvel Snap. Thank you so much for playing Marvel Snap. We've had such an incredible launch. It's only been a little over a month, but it's been so much fun. This video's got a ton of new stuff. It's got the token shop, it's got a ton of new cards, and we've got a special surprise from our community manager, Richie. Let's get into it. The Power Cosmic is Marvel Snap's best season yet. We've got some new variants. The Infinite and the Collector both have incredible variants, but there's a brand new card, and I think you're gonna love it. And here's our art manager, Johnny, to tell you all about this new character. I'm so excited to finally get a chance to show off my favorite Marvel character, the character that I'm most excited to see in Marvel Snap. The Silver Surfer, the Sentinel of the Spaceways, is finally here. He's gonna be playable in Marvel Snap. And uh, what does Silver Surfer do? So he's a 3-0, he has an on-reveal ability, grant your other three cost cards plus three power. And uh, what cards do you like to play with Silver Surfer? So he's obviously really great with Brood, so he's gonna give those other Broodlings plus three power. He's great with Wong for that double on-reveal, and phenomenal again with Odin, so you get that really massive turn six power spike. Yeah, I like to play Silver Surfer with Bishop and Ironheart, because they both, they both cost three. He's great with, you gotta go through your collection, look at all your three cost cards and figure out which ones you're gonna play with the Silver Surfer. You love Silver Surfer. Love him. Do you have, do you have like a, do you have like a tattoo? I, I have a tattoo. Can we see the tattoo? I would love to show it. <laughs> a tribute. <laughs> to the best Herald of Galactus. Wow, right oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, you're just gonna make Silver Surfer decks, and, and that's it, right? That's non-stop really Silver Surfer decks. We need to up the deck limit because it's gonna be non-stop Silver Surfer. There's no other variants planned. They're all canceled. It's just gonna be non-stop Silver Surfer art from now on. <laughs> Thanks for telling us about Silver Surfer, Johnny. It's been awesome to have you. It's been my pleasure. I love being here, and I cannot wait to finally play as the Silver Surfer and to see how our fans play with him. Just before launch, we shared our development roadmap, which talked about what we were planning on doing in the short, medium, and long term. And we've done a ton of the things on that list already. Now we have a lot more to do there, and we're sharing an updated version of that roadmap in December, but now I wanna talk about what's coming next patch. Since the beginning, players have been asking us for ways to target specific cards they really want for their deck and we are adding the token shop, which will be a great way to target exactly what you want. Right now, in Marvel Snap, there's three card series. A lot of players call them pools, but we call them series. They're a bunch of cards that are organized. You have to get all the cards in series one before you get any of the cards in series two. You have to get all the cards in series two before you get any of the cards in series three, and series three is humongous! And a lot of players get frustrated when they get there because they really want one card from series three for that one deck, and it's so big, it's very hard to tell when you're gonna get that card. Our solution to this is the token shop. Starting at collection level 500, you'll start to earn collector's tokens. And you can take those tokens over to the token shop, which rotates every eight hours with a card that you don't have from series three. And when you see that card, you can spend collector's tokens to buy it directly. If you don't have the tokens yet, it's okay. You can pin the card and it'll wait there for you until you do have enough tokens to buy it. We think players are gonna love how this speeds up the process of collecting and gives them a little bit more agency to get the cards they want. As players start to earn all the cards in Series 3, we wanna make sure that we're giving players more goals and more awesome stuff to collect. And so with the release of Token Shop, we're also introducing a slew of new cards, Series 4 and Series 5. Now, Series 4 is super rare, but you don't have to have all of the Series 3 cards in order to start earning Series 4 cards. You can earn them at any time. And if there's one that you really want, you can buy it in the Token Shop. Series 5 is 10 times more rare than Series 4. These are some of the rarest cards in the game, like Thanos 
and Galactus. Series four has 10 new cards and series five has six new cards and the cards are Luke Cage, Absorbing Man, She-Hulk, Titania, Maria Hill, Agent Coulson, Helicarrier, M'Baku, Atuma, Orca, Bast, Shuri, Thanos, Galactus, Valkyrie, and Super Scroll. <sighs> Woo! A lot of new cards, should be a lot of fun. The Token Shop is a great way to get the cards you want. We're super excited that we want to celebrate it with a super special surprise. Everyone who's got at least 500 collection level will get 3,000 tokens. And if you're higher level on the collection track, you'll get even more because you missed some as you're on your way up to that higher collection level. It's enough tokens to buy several Series 3 cards that you don't have already. I hope you find your new favorite card. Hey everyone, I'm here with community manager Richie. We just announced a ton of new cards. Richie, what do you think of the new stuff? Man, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see all the reactions from players in Discord, coming up with wacky, crazy decks and combos. It's gonna be nuts. I just cannot wait for December. I was really interested in hearing from the number one Marvel Snap player, KM Best, who's actually here to chat with us a little bit. So hey man, how's it going? How are you feeling? It's going great. I'm feeling great. I have been streaming Marvel Snap every day since the release, and I have enjoyed every minute of it. We've walked through a whole bunch of new cards for Series 4 and Series 5. Which card are you looking forward to the most? A lot of my content tends to be focused around, you know, trying really hard to win games, playing the best and most optimal things that you can. I will tell you I will break with that for this. Because the card I am most excited for is Thanos. I want to make him work. I don't know if he actually will. It seems like putting an extra six cards in your deck makes your whole deck a lot less consistent, even if some of those cards draw other cards. I worry that he'll clog up the board. All of these things are reasonable things to worry about. That said, he's too cool for me to not immediately target. I want to play with Thanos. That's what I want to do. Thank you so much for your time, KM Best. Your insight's so interesting to me. Everybody needs to follow you on Twitter and Twitch uh, and steal your decks like I do. Also, be sure to join us in Discord and let's keep the conversation going about Marvel Snap. We just talked about a ton of new stuff. The Power Cosmic Season with the Silver Surfer. We've got the Token Shop, Series 4 and 5, the most new cards we've ever released. Thank you so much to our guests, Johnny, Richie, KN Best. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you online.